Kindergarten enrollment is coming up. We'll have the details next. On the broadcast, we'll also have information on Indian Trails Leadership Day, as well as this week's sports recap. All this and more coming up on KFOI Weekly News. Thank you for joining us on Comcast Channel 15 and AT&T UVerse Channel 99. I'm Velocity Nichols. And I'm Amante Boutte. And here are this week's news, upcoming events, and announcements for the Fort Osage School District. Parents in the district can enroll their upcoming kindergartner for the 2015-2016 school year on April 16th. All incoming kindergarten students will enroll and meet with staff at their respective elementary school from 1230 to 7 p.m. Parents will need proof of age, immunization records, proof of residency, and a completed Fort Osage enrollment packet. Packets are available at all district elementary schools. The City of Independence welcomes the NAIA Division I Women's Basketball National Championship. The tournament will be held at the Independence Event Center from March 18th to the 24th. Hi, I'm Eileen Weir, Mayor of the City of Independence. March 18th through the 24th, the Independence will be hosting the Women's NAIA Basketball Tournament. This is 32 women's basketball teams coming to the Independence Event Center. Tickets are available by visiting the Silverstein Eye Center's box office at the Independence Event Center or the City of Independence Tourism website, visitindependence.com. The event features 32 teams from around the country playing 31 games in six nights. Learn more about the event and purchase your ticket at www.visitindependence.com forward slash NAIA 2015. Enrollment for the 2015 summer school session begins the week of March 16th. Use the summer session for credit recovery, get elective credits, or for enrichment courses. Packets will be available online at fortosage.net in all schools in the districts. The Fort Osage High School volleyball team is hosting their second annual youth volleyball clinics starting Saturday, March 7th. The clinics are open to current students grades K through 7. The purpose of these clinics is for youth volleyball players or those interested in playing to improve their volleyball knowledge and skill. Clinics are March 7th and 21st, April 11th, 18th and 25th, and May 2nd. K through 2nd will practice from 9 to 10.30 a.m. and 3rd through 7th graders will practice from 10.30 to noon. All clinics will be at Fort Osage High School. The cost is $5 per clinic or $25 for all six. If you have any questions, please email Indians Head Varsity Volleyball Coach Vanessa Gage at vgage at fortosage.net or call 816-650-7109. We'll be back with more Fort Osage District announcements after this message from our sponsor. There is no better place than Lunar Bowl for your kid's birthday party. Lunar Bowl has youth birthday party options for as low as $99.95 for a party of six, including two hours of bowling, an arcade card, ice cream, soda, and a lot more. Lunar Bowl can also customize birthday events for adults. Lunar Bowl, 2001 Northwest 7 Highway in Blue Springs. To book your birthday party, call group sales manager Tina Short at 816-220-7722. That's 220-7722. On the web at LunarBowl.com. Lunar Bowl is a smoke-free facility. Welcome back. The next project grad meeting is March 9th at the high school from 6.30 to 8 p.m. in the Library Media Center. Project grad is a great way to get involved for high school parents, but anyone wanting to help plan a safe after-graduation celebration for our students is invited to attend. Seniors and their guests who want to go to Project Grad must be accompanied by a parent or guardian to sign their mandatory Project Grad release form. The administration will be available the following dates from 5 to 7 p.m. for parents and guardians to come up to the high school and sign the papers. Monday, March 16th, Tuesday, March 24th, Wednesday, April 8th, and the final day, with no exceptions, is April 16th. Indian Trails is hosting a Leadership Day on March 13th from 9 a.m. to 1.30 p.m. 
And teachers and administrators from around the state and Midwest will come to Indian Trails to learn about how they became a Franklin Covey Leader in Me school and what that looks like on a day-to-day -day basis. The day will begin with the student leadership assembly and include classroom visits and panels of speakers. The Fort Osage School District would like to invite students and families of individuals with special needs to attend the annual transition fair on Thursday, April 9th at Fort Osage High School. The fair will give families an opportunity to gather information from various school age and adult outside agencies. The, trans the transition fair will be open from 5 to 7 p.m. in the practice gym. We'll be right back with more after this. There's always fun in store at Big Frog Custom T-Shirts and More in Independence. Visit the store, choose, create, and celebrate your customized design on a wide selection of apparel and gifts. Your order can be printed and ready within 24 hours. Let Big Frog outfit you today. Here are some events coming up this week in the district. On March 10th, the Board of Education will meet at 7 p.m. in the Gregg Administrative Building. The third quarter ends on March 11th. March 12th features the Buckner Second Grade Musical at 6 p.m. and the National Junior Honor Society induction at Osage Trail Middle School at 6.30 p.m. Elm Grove will have a McTeacher Night March 10th from 4.30 to 8.30 at the 24 and 291 location in Independence. The Fort Osage High School Indianettes are selling 2015 Kansas City Royals ticket package packages for $39.99. The package is worth over $400. Contact a member of the Indianettes or Bridget Dawson at bdawson at fortosage.net to place your order. Congratulations to the Osage Trail Middle School Bands who competed in the annual Middle School Large Ensemble Band Festival. The 7th grade concert band earned an overall 2 rating and the 8th grade symphonic band earned an overall 1 rating. Congratulations to Mike Pantaleo, Director of the Career and Technology Center, who was appointed to serve on the Job Readiness Task Force for the State of Missouri. The school district is bringing awareness to disabilities that students may face as they attend school. The month of March is Neurological Disorders. Please go online and visit sites.google.com forward slash a forward slash fortosage.net forward slash disability hyphen awareness. Here you will find information about neurological disorders and resources to help deal with the disability. Each month will feature a different disability awareness. So check the site for more information and help bring ability to a disability. KFOI is broadcasting live events on the NFHS network online. Live sporting events are pay-per-view with free viewing after 72 hours. To create a basic free account, go to nfhsnetwork.com and search for Fort Osage High School. Click on the red Join Now button in the top right corner of the web page and sign up for a basic membership for free. To watch the event live, you must purchase a pass starting at $9.95. Viewers can sign up for Fort Osage's exclusive offer of $49.95 for a yearly pass by clicking on the blue subscribe button under the Support the School heading in the upper right corner of the web page. Thank you for your support. We'll have this past week's sports report after this message from our sponsor. The Blue Springs 8th Theater at 1901 Northwest 7th Highway in Blue Springs offers you a friendly atmosphere to view the top box office movies. Enjoy refreshments from their full service snack bar and then relax in one of their 8 theaters featuring comfortable roomy seating. Catch these recent releases this week at the Blue Springs 8. Hey everybody, I'm Kayla Winslow with this week's KFOI Sports Recap. The girls varsity basketball team beat Winnetonka 57-52 in the first round of the Class 5 District 15 tournament. Morgan F. led the Indians charge with 20 points and 4 rebounds. Paige had a double-double with 15 points and 11 rebounds. Amelia Tinoco scored 10 and nabbed 7 boards. The girls then lost to Liberty March 3rd. 82 to 33 in the second round of the Class 5 District 15 tournament. Paige Bunn led the Indians with 8 points and 3 rebounds. Allison Stevens, Morgan F., and Alexis Arison each added 4 points. The team finished the year 6 and 21. 
The boys varsity basketball team came up just short March 2nd to win a Tonka 67 to 65 in the Class 5 District 15 tournament. The Indians were led by Dante Dodson's 13 points, Will Peniman, Willie Penniman put in 11 points, and Aaron Greer finished the night with 9 points. The Indians finished this, the year 7 and 18. We'll be right back after these messages from the NFHS Network. It's hard to get to everything we have going on here. I mean, this high school has so much. And now you're offering the ability to watch those events without having to travel there. My dad travels a lot, so he likes to watch the events. Like if I'm playing a volleyball game and he can't make it, um, he'll watch it and he loves it. I think it was homecoming. It was Friday night. And um, it was a punt return, and I returned it all the way back for a touchdown. And then, of course, I showed all my family members, and they, they really liked it. They, they liked to see what their family members can do. Golden Lions. I think this broadcast is essential because uh, uh, our team is global, and we got people all over the world going to watch the game. So without this, there is no way they can do that. These kids and these players feel loved. They feel important. And by broadcasting it, you have a bigger group that you're reaching that allows them to know those kids. All spring sports teams have started practices this week. The first competitions will be March 20th for boys and girls track as well as girls soccer teams. KFY will provide complete results and also bring you live coverage of select varsity events. Come out and support your Indians. Thanks Caleb. If you have Florida Sage news and information you would like to share on KFY Weekly News, let us know. Contact Broadcasting Advisor Benjamin Marithew at bmarithew at fordosage.net or Fordosage District PR Director Stephanie Smith at smith at fordosage.net. Well, that's all we have for you this week. Keep up to date by following us on Twitter at KFOI underscore news. Have a great day and a fantastic weekend. Thanks for watching KFOI Weekly News on Comcast Channel 15 and AT&T Channel 99. We'll see you next time.